Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Bucks Coins and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a tokens video and it's from a very famous company that we have here in the UK called the Cooperative Society. Now the co-op is a supermarket or if you're viewing somewhere like America it would be something like Walmart, a smaller version of Walmart. It was set up originally so people could band together to buy items but they did issue tokens to people. Now, this could have been through government schemes. It could have been anything. And they were like, if they were tokens that allowed you to buy items for a certain cost, and these are ones that have I've managed to get hold of. On this one, you can see it's got a blank back, but on this side, it says it's Great Yarmouth. So it was issued by Great Yarmouth Cooperative, or Co-op. It's Co-op and it's 8, looks like 80C Limited. I think that's supposed to be Co-op Company Limited. And it is a milk token. Can you see there it says milk? And you've got one either side of it and it's for one pint of milk. So, if you had this in your possession, you went along to the co-op and you said, can I exchange this for one pint of milk? They would give you a pint of milk and you'd hand over that token for them, to them. This next one... It's from the co again, it's from the co-op. Uh, I'm not sure... It's not easy to make out where it's from or if it's issued by any particular co-op. Royal... Oh, OK, this one's the Royal Arsenal. Now, Royal Arsenal... Some of you may have heard of the football club Arsenal. Originally, they were part of the Royal Arsenal. And this is a token from the Royal Arsenal. And it's for threepence. So you could go along to the co-op at the Royal Arsenal, or at the Arsenal, at the Royal Arsenal, and you could put, give them that token and you could buy three pence worth of goods. Now, sometimes, uh, um, sometimes employers would give workers some of these coins so they could go and spend them at the co-op um, as part of their wages or as part of saying thank you to them to, uh, to helping them out uh, and doing all sorts of things like that so this could have been given as part of the wages it could have been given as a club voucher and what I mean by that is that you paid threepence into the club fund and they gave you this token to go and spend whenever you needed to uh, as a as a, like a saving thing so you could save up for your um, your um, part of your shop the following week. This one is slightly different. Now, although this one actually says Clayton Beach, uh, Clayton, Clayton Young, Clayton Young at Whiz Beach. Now, Whiz Beach is in Cambridgeshire. So this is a token for their, for their particular shop. It's one shilling, indicated by the one and the small s next to it. So it's quite a um, quite a valuable coin in the fact that it's a shilling, as most people were were paid not a huge amount when these uh, tokens were available. One shilling could have been part of well uh, well over. Half a, half a week's work for somebody, easily, in some trades. So that's quite a valuable coin for the time of year, or the time that it was issued. This next one is a 10 shilling coin, which is even higher in value. This one again is... This is a co-op one, direct supply. 
you have it's a small brass coin oops let's get it further on in there you go with 10 shillings in the center part of the coin it doesn't the writing around the outside is quite um, quite bad and it's William Brothers direct supply sh uh, direct supply stop is what goes around which is what's gone around the outside of the coin now this again these these tokens when I bought them though they were bought on the basis that they were cooperative tokens now cooperatives weren't just the co-op society but you also had other companies that were cooperatives and they made these tokens and people used them to pay for goods now I'm not exactly sure what this company manufactured or what they actually did but it might well have been being a direct supply it could well have been food of some description this next one is a one penny token I think this is a cult bakery it looks like it's a one penny token so I would imagine at that point a one penny token would have bought you something like a loaf of bread or something along those lines so very they're very light quite they're very light and they're stamped out of very thin metal and you can see through the back at all you've got is it's reversed so I suppose when these were originally manufactured this is a Royal Arsenal again this particular one is now I don't know if it was their bakery department or something at the Royal Arsenal shop I don't know but it's a penny and I I presume that that penny would have bought quite a substantial, uh, you know, would have bought uh, quite a few goods in its day. Right. The next one is for five shillings. It's a lot thicker coin than the others. The others are just out of like a pressed metal where this is or this, where this one is a coin. And it's a William Brothers Direct Supply Store. So this is another store coin along very much along the lines of the co-op. It's a local store, no doubt, to the to the area that these coins uh, that these shops were in, and they would only be. It wouldn't be as if you could go from, say, Wisbeach Beach in Cambridgeshire, as one of the other coins was, to Devon or somewhere like that and exchange them because the chances of having a William Brothers direct supply shop there is limited. This one is a lot clearer, he says. And it says Port Sea Island Mutual Cooperative. And it's a one shilling coin. It's as a, it's a bit thicker than the one original ones that I've shown earlier on. It's still it's almost it, it feels more like a coin than the others do. The others feel they're very thin and they just punch metal in effect. That make up the token. So, the very the last one in this particular one is Port Island's mutual cooperative, and this one is the two shilling coin, a two shilling um, token. So. We have varied values of a shilling, two shillings, five shillings. Let me just take take you up a bit. Five 
five shillings. You've got a ten shilling there. Then you've got a penny, a shilling, a three penny, and a t milk token. So, do any of the rest of you collect tokens? If you do, comment below. Tell me, even if you don't collect tokens, which is your favourite coin out of all of these? Your favourite token of all of these? For me, they're all telling us a story and of what it was like to live sort of Victorian and early Georgian times, George the Sixth time, uh, George the Fifth times, um, Edward the Seventh, Victoria. This was the era when these tokens were issued. Do you think you could have got along with this bartering system or would you want the filthy lucre in your hand as in you decide what you spend it on rather than being given tokens to spend in a shop or a specific shop for specified goods? So. I am at the moment in the process of trying to um, enlarge my channel through the membership or subscribers. And to help me to do that, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a second and it will help me out immensely. Also, if you're somebody who has not yet subscribed, I would be very grateful if you did. And I would love to have you along during the rest of my um Rest of my journey through coins, tokens, banknotes, um, military, and also I do some collectible stuff as well. Now, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins that you're looking for. If you are buying coins, wherever you're buying them from, I hope you can get the coins you want for the price that you want to pay. And finally, thank you for lasting to the end of the video. And I hope to see you all again very soon. And until the, in the meantime, until we do, from me, bye-bye now. ta -la.